Hey guys, today we're going to talk about dorsal column medial lemniscus pathway. This is a sensory pathway that takes sensory information from the body to the cerebral cortex to be analyzed. Once the information is analyzed, the cerebral cortex will send back response through another pathway called the cortical spinal tract. Now there are four different nerve endings that are important to this pathway. They are called Pacinian corpuscles, Meissner's corpuscles, Ruffini endings, and Morco endings. These are sensory nerve endings that will sense touch, vibration, pressure, and proprioceptive sensation. It is very important to know that there are two dorsal column nuclei that participate in this sensory pathway. For the lower extremity, the gracilis nucleus, and for the upper extremity, the cuneate nucleus. Let's now begin with the lower extremities. Imagine you have stepped on something sharp, which will activate the nerve endings, and a signal will travel from the nerve endings into the cell body in the dorsal root ganglion. The signals will then enter the spinal cord and ascend from the gracilis nucleus on the ipsilateral side to the medulla. This is achieved through a bundle of axon fibers called fasciculus gracilis. On the upper extremities, it is pretty much the same way. The signals travel from the nerve endings to the cell body in the dorsal root ganglion, and then from there, they enter the spinal cord. They will then ascend from the cuneatus nucleus on the ipsilateral side to the medulla. This is accomplished through another bundle of axon fibers called fasciculus cuneatus. Once these signals reach the medulla, they cross over, which is also known as the cassation, and continue their path on the contralateral side to the thalamus. And then finally, they will travel to the cerebral cortex, where they will get analyzed. It is also important to know that the nucleus responsible for receiving this sensor information in the thalamus is called ventroposterior lateral nucleus, or simply VPL. And we also call the ascending sensory nerve fibers medial lemniscus after they cross over in the medulla. Now that we know how this pathway works, we can give some examples of some spinal cord lesions that affect the dorsal column. These include multiple sclerosis, tabes dorsalis, which is due to tertiary cephalus, vitamin B12 neuropathy, which is due to vitamin B12 deficiency, vitamin E deficiency, and Frederick's ataxia, which is an autosomal recessive trinucleotide repeat disorder. Even though all these lesions have different etiologies, they will all have problem with touch, vibration, pressure, and proprioceptive sensation.